Good morning. Uh, time for another golf lesson presented to you by Mr. Uh, King. Today I have the pitching wedge. I've seen more bent pitching wedges in my life than any other club. I usually uh, I look in the uh, scrap bin at the pro club when I go there and sure enough you, you pull out bent clubs. I guess people like to get angry and it's usually with the pitching wedge. Uh, it's used all the time almost on every hole you're probably going to use the pitching wedge. Uh, it's used for chipping when you're near the green. It's used for getting out of sand traps and it's used for just about every shot that's uh, in between 110 yards up. So, the pitching wedge. Probably the most dangerous weapon in your um, bag and this is the club you want to practice with most. Uh, you want to practice with it around the putty green before you play and you want to make sure to start with this on the driving range. It's a good way to loosen up. You can take your easy warm-up shots with it and then you start working into your full swings and ripping the ball as hard as you can like we covered before. So anyway, today um, I've got a yellow ball. I like playing with the orange ones actually. They're my favorite. Uh, I've seen some blue ones. Uh, but anyway, my target is fairly large. It's, it's a roof over there. Uh, it's about the toughest distance there is for me, which is probably, I don't know, what, 40 yards maybe or so? 40? Looks like a football 40 to me. Uh, so anyway, I'm not really warmed up. I'm not loose. I, I usually aren't when I, or isn't, or ain't. Uh, but anyway, it's a beautiful day here. The sun's coming up. It's uh, Rocky Mountains. Uh, the golf course is right over there. I can see it almost from here. It's called uh, Cabinet View. And speaking of the Cabinet Mountains, there's still a little snow on some of the peaks. Uh, number eight is called Sugarloaf. That's my favorite one. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, let's just uh, go ahead and take a practice swing with the old pitching wedge. And um, the pitching wedge is unusual, I guess. I don't know. Um, like I said, why take lessons when you go golfing with your friends who know everything about golf? Hey, you just listen to them. Uh, some of the stuff you can believe, some of the stuff just doesn't make any sense at all. But anyway, uh, you probably had golf lessons in high school. Typically on the pitching wedge, you want to keep uh, your uh, your club back here when you address the ball on your practice swing. Of course, everybody takes practice swing. And uh, up here further, <coughs> that's of course where your bigger irons are going to be which doesn't make any sense because the big irons are your twos and your threes and your fours and your small irons are your sevens, eights, and nines. No wonder most people don't like playing golf. Anyway, there's the target. Let's see if we can bounce the yellow ball off the roof. That was over the green and to the left and like I said, I'll be using this club again. Thank you. 